Yeah. Hi, everyone. I'm Kate. I'm going to be your guide for the monthly planning. We will be planning for October. Um, Cave Day planning, I think, feel like pretty quickly into when we moved digital became part of sort of the things that we offer. The idea being that really what we're about with Cave Day is changing our relationship to work, putting us in the driver's seat, giving us a sense of agency. And a big part of that is sort of having a plan, even knowing that life is going to life and you may end up, you know, totally off base when I'm, when the month unfolds, the having a feeling of agency and that you're not just reacting to the fires that come up, but really choosing how you spend your time, time blocking. Um, that's all sort of part of how we believe you get to like do your best work and also live a life that is bigger than work. So that brings us to monthly planning. And we also do weekly planning and there's even a daily planning video with Jake that you can watch on demand. So you can do as much or as little planning as you want. We're going to do some monthly planning. Um, so let's start with, if you want to throw in the chat three words that describe your September, uh, mine would go busy, social, uh, overwhelming. So I will leave this open for the next couple minutes if anyone wants to throw, throw theirs in. Clarifying, productive, joyful. Oh, that's beautiful. I love that. That's some great back to school energy. Um, healing, happy, connected, challenging, balanced, progressive, hectic, productive, chaos, fraught, stressful, busy, sporadic, tiring, good, stressy, cool, exciting. These are great. Okay, it feels like there's a lot going on. Disorienting, uh, new beginning, rejuvenating, healing, progress, overwhelming, and relaxing. Busy, overwhelming, overwhelming, settling, restarting, upheaval, social disorienting, fast behind, productive. Feels like there is a lot of that new season. We're back. We're out of summer. It's exciting. It's thrilling. It's chaotic. It's overwhelming. I can't imagine a better reason to at least attempt some planning. First, look at what's working, what's not working, and sort of daydream about what's possible in October and chart our way. So I am going to once again throw the link into the chat. It is www.caveday.org slash month. And we are going to begin with a 10 minute sprint on September. So the idea being, let's see what was working, what wasn't working, challenges, things that are still open so that we can step into looking at October with sort of the information we've learned from the month we just went through. So I think even though it's the tiniest of sprints, it's still a sprint. So let's do a thunderclap to enter our 10 minute sprint as we explore September. So if you warm up your hands, I'll count us down. Three, two, one. You are now in the cave. Have a great look at September.
All right, friends. So take a beat, just sort of, if you finished, great. Finish where you are. It's okay if you're not through the column. Um, welcome, Addy. I'm going to just share with you directly, tapeday.org slash month. We're just making our way through the sheet. We just did the first column. Um, but you can start on that in our next break and then make your way through. Um, happy to have you here with us. Okay. So you looked at September. Uh, and now we're going to do a little breakout rooms and share with each other something that stood out from you for you when you looked at the past month. Good, bad, curious. It really doesn't matter. Just whatever that prompt brings up for you. Um, I'm we'll be see if other people were having the same experience. There's some overlap um, or not. Maybe you'll learn something. So uh, we're going to do alphabetical order. You get you all will each get like about a, a minute to share. Um, there we go. And you're always welcome. If you don't want to join a room, you can stay with me in the big room and share in the chat. Uh, and if you're listening to the recording, I will go ahead and pause it during this and you can just do some private reflecting on what stood out for you in September. So here are the rooms. All right, friends, welcome back. Um, we've done our reflecting. We've done our sharing about what was, what, felt significant or what felt important from this past month. And now it's time to dive in to thinking about October into some intentionality about October. So without further ado, I'm going to set a timer for 25 minutes. You will notice that some of the things that you put in like the open loop will populate a task list on the second sheet of your sort of whole spreadsheet. Um, that's just for you to then go forth and find Put in wherever you keep your to-do list. Maybe you do the Caves Gay Squad with us and you want to throw that on your squad sheet. Maybe you have another to-do list. We're just trying to help you sort of then move it from there into the calendar. And if you find yourself having a bit of time, um, I strongly encourage like time blocking some of these tasks, getting them on the calendar in real places. If you want to book a cave for it, do that. If it's something that would flourish in a cave, but just sort of take it from list world to calendar world. Um, if you have some time at the end or give yourself a little time today to do that. Cause that feels like that's where the magic happens when it starts to exist in a calendar for a lot of people. Okay. It's time to go. So let's do a high five to enter. So pick a friend on the screen. They won't know you picked them. You'll know. All right. And you're going to give them a high five. Here we go. Three, two, one. You're now in the cave. Have a great time thinking about October.
All right. That marks the end of that particular sprint, thinking about October. So take a moment, finish your sentence or whatever you're working on. Okay. So you have like a sense maybe of what could happen in October, knowing that, you know, life is unknowable, but you have like some North stars. I especially really like the question about like, what would be enough? Like, what are the three things you could do that could be enough if all other kinds of things get in the way? I always think that's a really useful thing to know. Um, so we're going to go back into breakout rooms and just quickly share an intention, a focus, a mantra, whatever of those speaks to you for the next month. Something you're, it's like a three word little pep talk, um, whatever it is that you want to take with you as sort of a, a token, an anchor you can say to yourself or remember if things get weird. Um, and for those who are watching the recording, I will pause it and you can just do a little bit of brief journaling on that and then we'll wrap up. Welcome back, welcome back. Everyone should be back in about 20 seconds. If anyone wants to share their mantra, their intention in the chat, I would always love to hear it. Uh, mine's gonna be bit by bit. Let's take it in tiny little manageable pieces. Welcome back. Structure and focus. Awesome. Yeah. If anyone wants to share their mantra, their intention, chat is open. Progress, not perfection. To-do list is my friend, not a club. Yeah. Befriend it. Um, be a Buddha. Breathe slowly, but surely. These are great. I trust myself. Oh man. Bird by bird. Yes. You and me. All right. These are great. Thanks, friends. All right. We have four minutes left. Um, we can be done early or if anyone wants to share anything, the chat, or you can come off mute and say something if there's something you want, you heard and you want to say out loud. Um, all right. Oh, Chris, yes. The recording is in the on-demand part of your, you'll see it on the dashboard. Usually that's where they're all listed, both monthly, weekly, and day. Um, and I can also ask Jake if we can throw this on the invite, the link as well. So if you went back to the invite for this in the forum, you would find it. But it should be um, in the on-demand section is usually where they all live. Um, you're so welcome, Kim. I'm so glad it was clarifying. Thank you for joining me. It's always so fun because I see so many of you in the cave and then when you come to monthly planning, it's like a, a new adventure. So thank you for being here. We do this every month. We also do it weekly. You'll see those on demands are like scheduled on the big schedule. And there's also a monthly one, a, a daily one you could watch. So this is all hard. Time is hard. It's finite and it's chaotic and it's weird. And we're here to try to make friends with it and figure out how to use it. Um, so thank you for being here and spending this time with us. It was great. I loved it. So enjoy your Octobers. Goodbye, everyone. I'll see you soon. Bye.